Hello and thank you for watching this video today about luxury vinyl floors. We hope you find this video interesting and today I would like to present to you guys Jim Bloomquist from US Floors and I am Paul from 916 Floors and today we'll be talking about luxury vinyl flooring, LVT, LVF and Cortec as you probably heard when you're going around different floor shops you're finding Cortec is a big big name in this business right now. So Jim, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. And yeah, we're going to talk about some uh, exciting new generation flooring that's in the business. Because a lot of people know like carpet, hardwood, laminate, tile, but now we have a new uh, type of a floor, right? Yes, uh, what the industry refers to as a WPC, WPC. or a wood plastic okay. composite. Okay. Um, so it gives you, uh, you know, an option for um, water resistance and durability that maybe traditional uh, laminates did not offer. Okay. All right. Speaking about laminates, so people know laminate floor is a fake floor or it's a look like hardwood floor. Right? Or photo, yeah, photo yeah. finish with a film exactly. on top. But it's not a waterproof floor. Correct. Um, because of the core is made up of pressed board, whereas uh, the core tech, the core is made up of what we call WPC, yes. which is... Uh, Recycled wood, bamboo dust, uh, limestone, and virgin PVC uh, compared to uh, recycled PVC. So or, talk or about the PVC. virgin PVC so people know what that's like. Uh, is it inside? Is it out? You know, top? Well, where, it's, where is it? it's comprised of all those ingredients kind of bonded together. Uh, and what the owner had, I guess, uh, innovated, where he constructed that into, you know, this new, uh, this new product. Yeah. Um, and makes it so it doesn't expand and contract when the water uh, hits it, uh, makes it, you know, waterproof. Okay, so that's the core. Basically. That's the core. The WPC is the core, right? Correct. Okay. And then the top layer is, uh, is just a vinyl, uh, like traditional LVPs, uh, luxury vinyl plank or luxury well, vinyl tile, luxury vinyl is form. bonded to that, to the WPC core. And on the bottom, we attached a, a natural cork uh, backing which adds a lot of additional benefits as far as acoustic uh, values of cork, um, warmth, you know, it helps uh, uh, the thermal values, it helps keep the yeah, floor like a lot the, warmer. And also like the underlayment, right? Correct. Yeah. So it's a built-in underlayment. Um, although the product is waterproof, um, it's, not, uh, it's not impervious to hydrostatic pressure from your concrete Correct. slab. Correct. So we always recommend um, that you do a moisture test on your slab per yes. the specifications. And, and I'll stop you right here so that people understand about moisture test. The moisture test is super important, especially when you're laying over concrete slabs. Absolutely. Very important. And a lot of people jump over that line and then they go from removing their flooring, especially people that are doing it themselves, the DIY people. Absolutely. And then they're going from removing the floors sweeping it up, cleaning it up, and then putting, putting the floors down. Even a lot of installers do. Absolutely. Yeah, so. So a lot of, you know, a lot of the do-yourselfers or, um, you know, maybe installers that haven't been in the industry that long, um, you know, they, they skip some of those steps. Yeah. And those are the important steps that Correct. obviously important. you don't want to skip. And it's very easy to, you know, if a, your customer wants to do their own moisture test, yeah. they can simply take uh, maybe a 12 inch by 12 inch piece of plastic, uh, six mil visqueen, duct tape, duct tape the edges, yeah. and let it sit for a few days. And if it uh, has any condensation underneath, then you might want to do uh, a further moisture test. But that's an easy way of testing whether your uh, slab is extruding any right. kind of moisture. Well, our installers are um, all um, capable of doing calcium chloride tests. So the calcium chloride test is the industry probably the the best industry moisture test you can get in, in the flooring industry. So you get the calcium chloride test and it has these little beads and this little canister. You put them up for 72 hours and then you mm -hmm. weigh them. So you guys could look this up online and see how it's actually done. But this is the most best way to test the moisture in your concrete. It takes a period of time, like 72 hours. And then another way is the uh, pH test, like the probes. So you mm -hmm. could drill into the concrete and test it that way too. That's another alternative way if you want to do it like on spot. Exactly. So some guys will do it that way. But the moisture test is super important. That's why I'm kind of stopping right here to talk about it for a minute because people come to us all the time and then they're showing us pictures 
Um, I think we had a, a lady come in a couple days ago and showed us pictures how her floors buckled up and swelled up, and uh, that's exactly what happened. Correct. You know, she didn't take proper procedures, so yeah, even though people uh, hear that waterproof, but they don't still need to understand. Right, there's pressure coming the up. Pressure if if there's water. an issue, it can exactly. cause it can yeah. cause an issue. And <laughs> with that said, if you know a client decides, um, you know this, although this we sell this as a floating floor, right. you can glue this down. So we sell the adhesive, uh, you know, through our, our website. Um, so it is glue glueable um, if they prefer to do it that way. Yeah. Well, it depends, I think, on the project and then how the house is structured to residential. I think in residentials, I think more we do, actually we're sitting, people can see, like our audience can see it, but we're sitting on a Cortec floor right now and it's loose laid. And um, in, in some cases, um, it's always going to sound hollow, so people have to understand that, right? When you loose lay the floor because you have air trapped underneath it. But people have to um, um, understand that there's air. And when the, wherever there's air, there's pockets of air. They're always going to have a hollow. hollow Correct. Noise. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That it will. You you will get a little bit of that. Um, probably uh, not as much as your traditional laminates, only because we have the cork backing, yeah. which. Which definitely helps and I'll with show the, this to the, the sound people that density. are on the other side of the camera. But um, so here's your cork, so you guys know what we're talking about here. Absolutely. And then um, you don't have to get out, but I'll show people also is that so how the planks, uh, how the planks come, and the planks are typically they're uh, they're not what you guys have them in four and a six foot, right? So this is a uh, yeah. When we first came out, the Cortec original was a, a four foot plank. Just like the laminate or the hardwood boards? Yeah, so we offered it in a five inch wide, seven inch wide, and four foot planks. Um, and then we came out with the XL, which uh, you have, I believe some, I know you have it somewhere. Yeah. Um, the XL is a nine inch wide, six foot plank. Um, and then more uh, newly introductions were the HD, which is a, the high definition. And um, we call that HD because it has a, again, a, an abbreviation EIR. So the EIR is an embossed and register. Here, here's actually a sample of the, uh, of the HD board. So the embossed and register, the embossing actually goes with the grain of the wood. So it feels and looks like natural wood. And, you, and explain what the difference is with the bevel and the V. The bevel. And the V group. Some Correct. people say, you know, why why would I need a V grill when I when the, all the dust is going to get collected? Well, that's a that's a, I think that's preference. Preference, yeah. Um, you know, it's back in the day, the same question would arise, and when we were when we would be selling hardwood floors, you would counter that question with, well, it's better that the sand or little dirt gets in the grooves and isn't sitting on top of your floor. And when you're walking, actually, you know, causing abrasive actions to your floor. So although, um, for the most part, you know, it, yeah, and it makes a it a lot easier yeah. to clean, but it's, I think it's strictly preference. Preference versus, uh, and the look also. So the V-groove, some hardwoods will come this way, and then some hardwoods will come a also just edge. a square edge. Kind of like the, um, the first, I would say, generation of the Cortex floors. Yes. They're both the same thickness, correct? Uh, correct. Yeah. Same thickness, so you will basically you if you're looking, you see three layers. Yeah, I believe it's a it's an eight three eight point three mil, um, and the the original in the five and the sevens were an eight mil. I see. So now the newly introduction as well is uh, the XLE. So now you have the XL plank, which is a nine inch wide again, six foot plank with the v-groove or the micro bevel and this is all hand-painted bevels very real very realistic for, looking for people that don't know or can't really see the difference of how it looks they should really come into a flooring showroom like to our showroom or to somebody else's showroom and just check out preferably what, yours preferably yeah, preferably ours. Ours, yes. <laughs> and check out what Cortec really looks like because once you feel it and touch it and you really will see the difference of um, quality so that's important. And also, you know, you have a, a lifetime residential warranty and a 10-year light commercial yeah, warranty. Which is huge. Uh, absolutely. 
And I would, you know, on the light commercial, uh, depending on, you know, the amount of traffic, I would probably recommend gluing that down yeah. compared to floating because you have a lot of distributed weight, people walking around, you know, in restaurants. Um, but other, you know, I don't, other than that. Here, here's a question for you. People say, is it scratch proof? It comes up a lot of times. I would answer that as <laughs> nothing's really scratch proof. Thank you. There's a... Uh, Almost everything is scratch resistant, yes. but nothing is really scratch proof. Uh, you, can, uh, you can stain concrete and epoxy over the concrete yeah. and that will scratch. Yeah. So it's all based on pounds per square inch. You can drive your car on it, uh, probably won't leave a mark. But uh, a woman's high heel uh, going like that and scraping across it, I can almost guarantee you will scratch. Yeah. You know, sliding your refrigerator uh, across the floor can cause a scratch. Uh, in those cases, I usually recommend just putting an extra plank under the wheels of the refrigerator and kind of Correct. rolling it on that yep. so it, it's sitting on something. Yeah, uh, I, I can know, tell you many stability. stories uh, with people scratching their own floors with, with the fridge. So yeah, another thing is don't move your fridge if you don't know how to protect your floor. Good Correct. point. Yeah. So um, kind of going back to um, the, uh, the company now. So the company is uh, a U.S.-based company. Yes, we are based in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. Um, we have distribution now in uh, Southern California, uh, but yes, based in in Georgia. Okay. All right. So we've dealt with Cortec. We, as a nine one six floors company, have been buying from Cortec. I would say maybe on our third year, approximately. Mm -hmm. We've done pretty good amount of business. You've done you exceptionally guys. well. Yeah, and we like the product. Um, you know, a very very minimal. I would say not even claims, but uh, very minimal um, hiccups that we have. And if we had any, you know, you've been great to answer them and the company also, the customer service has been and, very And excellent. the same with you guys, uh, for the amount of Cortec that you've sold and as little, you know, very little issues that we have with it, um, you know, it's, I, I definitely appreciate yeah. your business and what you guys have done. Yeah, so for people that have pets and kids and active households, I definitely recommend Cortec. Cortec is one of the best options because people come into us and say, you know what, how much is it going to cost me for my house and I want to do 1,000 square feet of floor. What can I do? Can I do a hardwood? Can I do laminate? And can I do Cortec? And, you know, it depends what it is. And I tell them, if you have kids and if you're not planning to stay there uh, for the rest of your life, this is not your dream house. Cortec is probably, in my opinion, right now in 2017. I don't know what's going to happen in five years. They Correct. may come up with something else. Yeah, neither but do I. For now and for the next year or two, this is exceptionally the best product that you can get uh, for your money right now, especially with kids and pets. Huh? I, I, I yeah. agree. So another another thing is where uh, tell people where can they put this product? Wh which part of the homes? Well, because it's waterproof and uh, you know it, you don't have to acclimate it. It, so it's, you're not, you're not going to get the expansion and contraction as you would in other hardwoods, normal hardwoods. You can run this through your entire house into the bathrooms and not need any moldings or door transitions. Um, so you can run it through the whole house into the bathrooms. Yeah, yeah that, that's another big, big which, selling factor. Which again, is it saves the retailer, or I shouldn't say the retailer, it saves the consumer money. Because if you're doing other materials and you get into your bathroom, and now you have to put tile in your bathroom, Correct. you're looking at, you know, possible a hardy backer and extra labor and the price of tile. And so, it, and that can be very expensive to do tile. And also, also what we've noticed is that, uh, especially uh, in elderly communities like Del Webb, when there's elderly people and they're afraid of tea moldings. Uh, another nice, really, really nice thing that you can do with Cortec that you can't do with laminate is you can run the entire house without any breaking points. We do still recommend to divide the bathrooms and the laundry rooms, um, but you can do a project if it's not a huge, very, very large house, and we've done it before successfully, and no problems, no callbacks. You can run the entire house, one floor, and no tea moldings, no reducers, and you'll just need it like an end moldings up to your sliding doors and, and end caps uh, for mm -hmm. the... Uh, entryway and garage doors <clears throat> so yeah that's another positive thing people especially older people that are dragging their feet um, they can just move freely through the house and it's um, very easy to clean because it's waterproof you know what cleaner do I use and exactly what, you shouldn't need any real cleaner 
it's a waterproof floor. You can probably use just uh, some warm water, a uh, damp sponge mop, and just to, you know, mop it, uh, just to get the dust off. Um, and it's that easy. Yeah. Uh, if you choose to use a cleaner, I, you know, recommend the cleaner that, you know, 916 Floors recommends. And it's very, uh, very easy to clean. Um, I would say that, you know, although it's very, um, it's waterproof and scratch resistant, it has all those good things, you still want to take care of it uh, appropriately. Yes. Um, it's not bulletproof. Um, you still want to use uh, felt or coasters under heavy furniture with, again, pounds per square inch, with, yeah. with thinner legs, uh, something heavy like a piano. Yeah. Uh, can definitely cause an issue with the floor, so you have to use you know floor protectors yeah. as you would on any hardwood or laminate. Uh, we did have issues on uh, two jobs, and you know as always, I tell people there's not a product that you can get that will be 100 percent safe. Not, not nothing that I know, and not a product that you will be 100 percent satisfied with. Because if you're getting tile, you can kind of. Um, bypass the, the denting and the scratching, it's going to be more durable. Then you're dealing with grout and you're dealing with cold floors. So you can never get all of the above. Or one, or one cracking. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Cracking. So I tell people, if you have heavy furniture, we've seen one job where people put a piano directly on Cortec and they've dented. And my answer to that, yes, it's a rubber floor. What did you expect to have? It's vinyl, yeah. It's vinyl floor. So... I would suggest distributing the weight and getting some plates, like maybe wood plates or metal plates that are wider, and you could put underneath the, the wheels to Correct. distribute out the weight. Same thing with the with the furniture. Correct. Yeah. Kind of want to go back to the cleaner. So I want to tell uh, the viewers that we have a good section of floor here in our showroom, and it's all Cortex, six colors of Cortex. And the best way to clean it is, just like Jim said, is with warm water. And, you know, we've cleaned it with cleaners, Cleaners tend to build up over time, so be careful when you're using too much cleaner. Just use water, and you know, on three times a week, I think we clean the floors here in the showroom, and they're just you see how they were the first day as we installed it. Absolutely, looks, yeah. still looks great. Yeah. So I think we kind of covered maybe the uh, the basic points. Uh, of, I think we got it. If anyone would like to learn more they could give us a call here at the showroom and our phone number is 916-303-3731 yeah, don't call jim you know, don't call jim <laughs> or you could call His us floors <laughs> or uh, what's the website they can learn more about it us floors llc.com us floors llc.com or visit 916 floors.com for more information if you like this video please share it with your friends and family or comment us below here and we'll try to respond as soon as we can to your questions. Give us a call or stop by here at the showroom to look at samples. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Take care.